What's happening, y'all? It's J Cash back at you with another video, and this video is entitled "What Is Love" by J Cash. I'm going to give you my definition: of what is love, and it's short, quick, simple, straight to the point. And I'm going to give you Bible chapter and verse. And the Bible chapter and verse is 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 7. This is the definition from the Bible of what love is. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor of others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong, wronging. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. What is love by J. Cass? Since I've given you the Bible chapter verses in this book of 1 Corinthians by the Apostle Paul, now I'm going to give you my full take on it real quick. This is what love is. Love is patient. When you're patient with someone, you're willing to take your time and your energy and your efforts to help someone. Love is kind. What is kindness is? Not being mean, not saying things harshly about the person, and it does not envy. What does that mean, it does not envy? Envy means, basically, you envy a person for what they got or some type of character or sense of humor they have, and you have envy. See, it does not do that. It does not boast. You don't go around bragging about how much you love this person. So love is an action verb. Love is not something you say. Love is something you do. Now let's get the other one, other part. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. When it means dishonor means you love this person only when it suits you. Oh, but when it doesn't suit you, you don't love this person. That's dishonor. So you really don't love this person. It's not self-seeking. You love this person because it makes you feel good about yourself. It's not easily angered. means Whatever this person does, it doesn't just tick you off like that. In any kind of relationship, whether it's friendship, marriage, any of that sort of case, it keeps no record of wronging. What is wronging? Every time you do something or she does something or you're in a relationship with friends or anybody with that, with that state of matter, it keeps no records of wrong no matter what the person does. You still love them. You don't hold nothing over their head with your friendship or relationship or marriage. You don't hold nothing over their head. Oh, I bought you this. Oh, I bought you that. You remember when I did this for you, that for you? When you have a person that throw things in your face, whether it's male or female, men or women, however you want to put it, that's, that's not love. But love is when it keeps no record of just you not, you know what I'm saying, every time you still love them, okay? It does not delight in evil. If you love someone, anybody, why would you want to see this person hurt? Why would you want to see this person not have anything? That's evil. You don't love this person. You don't want to see him successful. He or she successful. That's not love. Okay, now it says, but result. Rejoice in truth or with truth. Yeah. Rejoice with truth. Okay. Rejoice with truth is when you love someone, 
and you care about someone, you tell them the flat out truth. I don't care if they're crying. I don't care how much they feel is hurt. I don't care if they walk away sad, disappointed, angry. Because the truth hurts. So when you tell your friend the truth or your relationship or your wife, you just tell her the absolute truth about it, there's no point in her or him getting mad. It always protects. Love is what? Protects again. Telling someone the truth protects them. When you love somebody, whether it's physically or somebody's trying to do something to the person, manipulate the person, and you tell them, like, hey, this person's trying to get on me. See, it protects. Now, trust always, always to trust, hopes, and preserves. It always trusts. That means if you love someone, you're going to trust them, whether it's with your money, with your time, whatever secrets you have, you're going to trust this person. Now, I always hoped. Love is hope. Hope. Gives you something to believe in, like you got evidence to hope in, or evidence to hope in this person. Now, I always preserve means, you know, it always you always got love for this person no matter where it goes, no matter where this person goes. It always preserves. You always got that love for them every time you see them. No matter if it's during the week, uh, you know, occasionally, you still got this preserved love for them. You always, they always got like a, what you call it, a special place in their heart. So this is what love is. This is a, a full breakdown. This is what the, the definition of love is in a relationship friendship, or marriage. This is what love has to be. If it's not any of these things, this person or that person does not love you at all. But these characteristics, if a person is not producing these characteristics right here, no matter what the situation is, whether it's relationship or marriage, this person doesn't give a fuck about you. So with that, I want to thank you guys. Thank to my new subscriber. Keep subscribing to the channel. I got more to say. I'm trying to get better with these videos. I'm trying to be more calm. I'm trying to be more expressive. So, I'm trying to get better. It's going to take a whole lot of work. I need a whole lot of work on my delivery. But I want to thank everybody for coming on this channel. Thank you for viewing it. I, ain't, I don't care nothing about your money. I don't want your money. But anyway... Thank you, and I'm out.